Let's talk quickly about some modifications that you can and should make to your ferro rod to make it that much more useful if you have to use it in a survival situation. These Light My Fires, they have an ergonomic handle designed to make it comfortable to grip. Guaranteed, when you take it out of the package, you'll be able to pull that ferro rod out of the handle. And I think that's designed so that as you wear out one side, you can't really hold it ergonomically anymore and use a different portion. So it's designed to be able to turn it inside there. First things first is I would make sure that your uh, your rod is actually secured inside your handle. The second thing I would do is put something high visibility on it. The last thing you want to do is be fumbling around with this and it drop and you not be able to find uh, it. This one has uh, a bright orange lanyard. Uh, this one actually has, uh, it's not so bright, but it's got a uh, reflective material in it. So if I drop this at night, if I have a light source, it'll reflect off of that and it'll be easier to find at night. So probably a combination of those two would be okay. But for most of my rods, I recommend you know, replacing the lanyard with some wax jute. Uh, the reason is, is these nylon lanyards are not very good for anything other than lanyards. Um, I mean, it's a little bit of cordage, but this wax jute is an additional source of tinder that I can use. So there's a couple other things you can do uh, that I think are really useful. What I did to this one was, you know, aside from just the, you know, the wax jute lanyard, is this is actually a uh, piece of fatwood handle. I actually just took one of those limb cores and carved it down into a nice handle. I used pine pitch glue to set my ferro rod in there. What this does is allow me to have my ferro rod. I've also got some emergency fatwood, if this is all I have, uh, and I've got some other emergency tinder with the wax jute. My newer ferro rod that I've been trying out is uh, it's kind of the same concept. It's another six inch by you know half inch diameter rod. Got a little piece of orange tape on it so I can find it easy if I drop it. And it's got some wax jute, you know, just because I like to have that emergency tinder source. But this one also has a, uh, a copper end cap on it. What I like about having this little copper bopper is I can find flint, I can find glass. Um, so a couple things. I can use the flint or the glass, I can nap arrowheads, I can sharpen up an edge if I'm using this as a replacement striker, uh, whatever I need to do. And also if I you know, don't have that, I, you can find glass all over the woods unfortunately, but I can use this bopper to essentially make arrowheads out of the glass and sharpen that and make it more useful. So anyway. That little copper bopper addition is one of the coolest mods, I think, for a ferro rod.